Welcome to Board Games with Niramas. I'm doing the last minute preparations here before I'm ready to get going. So we have the decks out here. We're going to go through them uh, fairly quick. Um, just look through them and see sort of the main, um, well, what the houses are, if there's any cool cards, any Mavericks. I hope I can get some Maverick cards. Uh, those are sort of, um, how to explain that? It's like cards that are showing up in a different house than they're supposed to. That could be really cool combos. So I'm hoping that <coughs> I can find some memory cards and I hope that I can find some combos that I don't have already. Hey Alex. <coughs> Good to see you in here. Have you uh, tried Keyforge yet? Let's see, let's put, uh, what is it? Yeah, it's, we can just wait a few seconds. Pro people will probably show up during the stream as well. This is the kind of stream that basically can just keep going and people show up as they, uh, when they, when they can. And it doesn't really matter that much because you can watch in the middle and still enjoy it. Oh, hi, Ident. Oh, you won your opening tournament. That's cool, man. What did you win? Did it was it like a um, some sort of uh, sort of uh, pin or something? I heard a lot of people got pins when when they won tournaments. I'm gonna start by just uh, opening some stuff here. Oh, the silver keys. Okay, was it like metal keys then? I guess I haven't seen those, but sounds really cool. So, oh, hey, Loki. <laughs> on time as always yeah let's see let's just start with one and we can keep chatting and just ask questions if you have any questions about keyfort or about the channel or, or and so on just ask away so here we have this logos and untamed this is this socially smooth shepherd of giant city <laughs> that's a funny name <laughs> so let's see let's open this up oh, i forgot to pull off my my little box knife so I don't have any nails really, so it's hard to open these. Here we go. And I should also, well, I, I don't, I'm filming on my normal phone now, so I'm, I can't scan these. So I'll just, I'll just cover it up, I guess. I didn't do that right now, but uh, anyway, I'll just cover this up. Okay. So we have, let's see if we can get focus here and so on. I'm using my normal phone now because I think it's better at live streaming than the other one. Now I, it looks like it can't... Oh, there we go. So, this. We have some cards that I don't recognize, to be honest. Uh, Logos has Twin Boat Emission Double and Valen Analyst. And then Untamed has two Niffle Apes. Ah, don't really like those. Okay, well... <laughs> Yeah, well, kind of stupid. I, the thing with these codes is, even if I scan this, you can still scan it and have it. It's just that the first person to do it gets the, um, uh, like a, an amber shard. I don't even know what the amber shard should, it will do for you, but anyhow. So, Witch of the Eye, she's pretty good. Uh, Hunting Witch, pretty good as well. Uh, Piranha Monkeys, kind of nice. Niffle Queen, this is new for me, I think. Uh, each other friendly beast creature gets one power. Each other friendly Niffle creature. Oh, that's pretty good. So this is good with the Niffle Apes, of course. We have two Niffle Apes and the Niffle Queen, whatever Niffle is. Uh, so this will boost these guys. Oh, so they get... They are both beast and Niffle. I, get they get, they, I guess they get both effects then. So they get plus two power, which means they are fives. That's pretty cool. Um, this is a beast, so he will be boosted as well. And she's pretty strong in herself, so I mean a six, yeah. And this is a beast, a halicor. Oh, two halicors, these are nice. Each friendly flank creature gains skirmish. Skirmish. Um, so that's cool, wow. Interesting combo here. And here we have another witch that I haven't seen, the Shota Hasri. Lose one when you play, if you do, may forge a key at current cost. This is so awesome. This is how you can uh, forge a key in mid-turn, <laughs> which is just so amazing. You can sort of save up, so at the start of your turn, if let's say I have 12 at the start of my turn, and I already have one key forged, 
I could forge a key to start on my turn, then still have six, and then play this. Well, I need to have seven, actually, uh, because I will lose one. And then I can forge another key and win before the opponent even has a chance to react. That's just so amazing. Lost in the Woods is a good card. Love this one. So handy. Choose two friendly creatures and two enemy creatures. Shuffle each of the chosen creatures into its own deck. So you can get rid of some, some really nasty stuff. Uh, oh, we have the key charge as well. Wow, this combo. I think this combo is quite rare. I don't know, but I've never seen it before. So this means that as an action, I can. if I have 14 amber, I, on my turn I can play this as an action, lose a uh, amber, forge a key. On this I lose an amber, forge a key. So I can forge two keys, or actually three. Wow, I can forge three keys in one turn. If I have, well, what would that be? 14, 20. If I have 20 amber, which is, yeah. But anyhow, really cool stuff. And Grasping Wines, return up to three artifacts to its owner's hand. This is pretty good. Has an amber there as well. Okay, nice. Untamed deck. I like Untamed. And that was interesting. So Experimental Therapy. Oh, yeah, this is the upgrade. So the creature belongs to all houses. Velan Analyst, which we have two of them. Uh, each time you use an artifact, gain one. Hmm. Uh, th then it depends on how many artifacts. Uh, there were no artifacts here, right? So it depends on how many artifacts you have in the deck, how good that is, really. Um, Titan, this is kind of nice. The keys cost minus one. Wow, 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 wow. You could combo this. So you could have this guy together with... Where are they? Together with the Shota Hasri or the key charge. And you could forge a key for only six then. Wow. Some really nice combos in here. And this guy is nice as well. When you reap, you archive a card. Let the robot let you steal when you fight. The pocket universe. You may spend... Oh, okay. So this is um, like an artifact that you... You put it out and you can, you can put amber on it from your pool. And then you can spend amber from here to craft a key. Instead of having to... Uh, and then it can't be stolen and so on. Because it's on this. It's not in your pool. Wow. Another artifact, destroy a damage creature, a really good one as well. So yeah, I mean, the Velen Analyst that lets you use an artifact, gain one amber, wow. Wild Wormhole is fun, but it could be a bit scary. I played a game uh, the other day where I played the Wild Wormhole and I got, what is it, this guy, this guy out. And that meant all of a sudden the keys only cost five and my opponent had... Uh, five. So it was almost like I, I lost the game because of that. But then I, I could steal it from him or something. I don't know. But but this is interesting. You, you play your top, the top card of your deck. Twin Bolt Emission. Two of them. This is nice. Deal two damage to a creature and two to a different creature. Really good to just get rid of some smaller enemies. Neurosiphon. If your opponent has more um, amber than you, steal one amber and draw a card. Good one. And we have this wife. This this looks like I mean these are my three favorite factions. <laughs> this deck might be my new favorite deck. This is an upgrade. This creature gets two plus plus two power and gain hazardous two. This that's nice. Uh, hazardous is like spikes or something. So if you hit him, you will take damage before the fight, which means he's sort of protected from smaller guys. They can't. If I put this on some guy, then he you know the smaller guys can't even hit him because they will die before. And toxin. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I guess. The terror, this is really, if, if your opponent has no amber gain too, it's really situational. Snudge, return an artifact or flank creature to its owner's hand. Pretty good. Uh, Suler, if your opponent has four or more, steal one. Pretty good. Capture three. There's a lot of control in this deck. And look at this. We also have the Lash of Broken Dreams, which is one of my favorite cards, where uh, it's an artifact. And when you activate it, keys cost plus three during your opponent's next turn. So not only do we have a lot of ways for ourselves to craft keys here and, and so on, <laughs> we, we can stop the opponent. Wow, so nice. Three fates, destroy the three most powerful creatures, key hammer. Um, oh, this is awesome as well. Uh, Martin played this against me. If your opponent forced a key on the previous turn, unforge it, and the opponent gets his six amber back. But yeah, wow, this deck is awesome. And then this destroy each disc creature, each play against one for each creature they control that will destroy this way. 
So I can get some, I don't have that many creatures, but I can get some creatures out and then destroy them to get Amber. Uh, and finally, Fear is good, return an enemy creature to its owner's hand. So, wow, yeah, this might be, this might be my new favorite deck. <laughs> the Socially Smooth Shepherd of Giant City. Wow, I'm going to remember this one. Okay, wow, that was, uh, took a lot longer than I planned. I got so uh, excited about that deck. So I tried to speed things up here a little bit in the next one. And I actually, op I will open it before I start talking about it. So, um, here we go. And what's your favorite houses, guys, in the chat? For, for those of you that have played the game. Here we have a uh, pretty nice combo as well. Logo, Sanctum, and Unattained. So we have Shield of Justice, Double, Twin Bolt Mission. Mm, okay, let's check it out. A Double Ancient Bear. I don't know. What is this then? This is the Garu Kebu Gander. Okay. Uh, Way of the Bear is pretty good. Creature gains a soul too. Snuffle Gator has Skirmish. Fussy Grin. Oh. <laughs> this is fun. So basically you get two amber, your opponent gains one amber. Two ancient bears could be good in some cases. Um, yeah, this is really awesome. I really like those. I think this and Untamed are basically my favorites. And Logos as well, but there you can heal. Mimic Mimicry is awesome. This is just an awesome card. You can copy an action card in your opponent's discard pile. Wow, this is so good. Lost in the Woods, as I talked about earlier. Life Web. Uh, you can steal if they played a bunch of creatures. Ah, oh, key charge is in here as well. That's nice. Fog bank. That's pretty good. Stops your opponent from using creatures to fight. And cooperative hunting is nice as well. Deal dam one damage for each friendly creature in play. You may divide this damage. So if I have like five creatures, I can do five damage in any way I want. So good. Uh, pretty good untamed deck there. We have shoulder armor. Protect the weak is pretty good as well. Uh, gives ta taunt to a creature, Protectrix, Francus, uh, Champion Tabris, Bulwark, Bulwark is nice, gaining two, am two armor to his neighbors, Shield of Justice, um, it's nice, oh two of those, so it can really protect your creatures this way, because they, yeah, Inspiration is nice, Glorious Few, mm, this one can be can be really fun if you if you don't have any creatures out and your opponent has like six seven you gain one amber for each of those that's just awesome uh cleansing wave is also nice this is also one of these you can get a lot of amber in in just one move uh if you can somehow damage everyone and then you play this to heal everyone then you get one amber per creature heal this way also it counts for the enemies so yeah Blinding light, stun each creature of a certain house, that's good. And we have psychic bug, you get to look at your opponent's hand, never has seen this before. It could be good, I guess. Uh, neutron shark, I haven't seen this one either. Uh, they are both rare though. This is a beast, a play fight reap, destroy an enemy creature or artifact and a friendly creature or artifact. Discard the top card of your deck, if that card is not a locus card, trigger this effect again, wow. So this guy could basically destroy, let's say I don't have any creatures or artifacts out and my opponent has a few, then in, in theory this guy could just kill everything. Wow, cool. Oh, double mother, love those. Uh, so good to be able to draw extra cards. Double mother is good, I like this deck as well. Gain meet archivist, pretty good. Uh, Dextra, hmm. This guy keeps coming back and he captures when he plays. Twin Bolt Emission. Are they always twin? Uh, like two? I don't know. And they deal damage. That's good. Face Shift is nice. Play a, a non Logos card this turn. Lab Work lets you archive a card. Ever I don't know how to say this. Effervescent Principle. Each player loses half their Amber. Yeah, pretty good. Oh, two of those. So a lot of control in this deck, but a lot of cool stuff as well. So. Interesting, two good decks uh, so far, in my opinion. They look good, at, at least. I haven't played the game more than like 10 times, so it's hard for me to like really pass judgment on decks, but I do watch a lot, I read a lot about the game and so on, so pick up on a lot of stuff. But 
for me also the like the discover part of a, a new game is always the most fun so in some ways i would don't want to know all the stuff up front right at the same time um i get excited and i want to check out stuff so yeah so here we go this is the goat salem the champion of the airport that's that, that's a weird name <laughs> the champion of the airport okay uh shadows this and logos and let's do this again uh, let's see if we can get this to focus good come on uh, pro i don't know can you see that yeah i think so so we have to double gateway to this um some rares there, Logos, uh, we have some archaeologists. <laughs> and then we have a lot of stuff that I don't recognize, but I, I haven't learned all the names and so on, so I might recognize them as we, but this one is new for me, I think. Smiling Ruth. Um, she's elusive and reap. If you're forced to key this turn, take control of an enemy flank creature. That's awesome, taking control of other creatures, or like enemies. Dodger, let's just steal. Nexus, um, use an opponent's artifact. This is nasty. Uh, the Asp, because it has poison. So it like insta kills anyone who it hurts. And it's skirmish as well, so that's cool. Uh, Carl of Phantom, uh, each time you play an artifact, steal one. Well, I don't know if we have a lot of artifacts here though, but Bad Penny, I don't know. She always comes back when she dies, but yeah. Special Delivery, here's an artifact. Uh, Omni Sacrifice Special Delivery deals 3 damage to a flank creature. If this damage destroys the creature, purge it. That's pretty good. Purging is good. Get, get, that's getting rid of a card from the deck, totally. Too much to protect. This is new for me as well. Steal all but 6 of your opponent's amber. Okay. Uh, this, this artwork is just so crazy, but it's uh, deal 2 damage to a creature. If it destroys it, steal 1. Return 2 enemy creatures to his owner hand. Key of Darkness. This is new for me as well. Forge a key at plus six current cost. Wow. Uh, if your opponent has no amber, forge a key at plus two current cost instead. Okay, so if you have 12, basically, if nothing else has changed it, if you have 12 amber, you can play this and forge a key in mid turn, which is awesome, also, also awesome, just like with that untamed thingy. But if your opponent has no amber, let's say he, he just forged a key, then it only will cost you eight or yeah that's pretty cool I, I like that stuff and here's bait and switch this is a good card as well uh if your opponent has more amber than you steal one and then you keep doing that until you have the same amount which is just awesome so nice uh, shadow stack i think uh the analyst the titan mechanic skippy time hog um oh i haven't seen this before this is rare as well this is like your opponent cannot use any cards next turn he can still play and discard, but he can't use... So if he has a lot of creatures, this is really nasty, just stopping him. Uh, the Archaeologist, uh, or kind of a card from your discard pile, that's really nice as well. Really nice. You can get some cards back from your discard pile, basically. And here's our kind of a card. Uh, this guy is choose a creature. For the remainder of the turn, that creature is considered a flank creature and gains reap draw a card. Can be good. So, uh, it's an artifact, so... And here's uh, destroy a damage creature. And no, here's only one twin bolt emission. So I got the answer to that already. They are not always twins. <laughs> then we have phase shift. It's nice. Neuron siphon. Dimension door is nice. Um, if I get uh, if I reap and I get amber, I steal it instead. So I could do some really nasty combo there. Okay, so nice logos card. So let's look at the discard. Uh, it's always funny when you say that discard, but anyhow, um, a return an artifact. Or, yeah, this is nice. Uh, so this is the same that we talked about earlier. Guardian Demon can heal and then deal that damage to another creature. That's good. Uh, this is new for me. Gabos Long Arms, rare. Before fight, choose a creature. Gabos Long Arms deals damage to that creature rather than the one it's fighting. Oh, so he could be fighting. A big uh, nasty guy, which would hurt him. Well, like he could be fight. He, you could fight a small, like a two, with him, and he will only take two damage. But he can choose to do his five damage, not to the two guy, to some other five guy. Wow, cool stuff, cool stuff. Ember Imp, always love this guy. 
Poltergeist uh, use an artifact controlled by any player and then destroy it. This is nice. Just get rid of some of your opponent's artifact. Mind Barb, yeah. Hysteria is good. Guilty Heart is new for me as well. Also a rare. Destroy each creature with any amber on it. Oh, I might have seen this actually. I just don't remember the name. Uh, this one I haven't seen though. Gone Goosel. Deal 3 damage to a creature. If it's not destroyed, it owners its owner discards a random card from their hand. That's pretty cool. Huh. And then gave with double gateway to this, which is nice. Destroy each creature. This is a board wipe. You get three chains, but at some points it's definitely worth it. So, so we'll keep going. Wow, so many cool cards already. Uh, <laughs> so much cool stuff. I, you know, you never know what you're gonna get, and that's pretty fun for me as well because I'm. Um, I never really like play those. I never played Magic uh, for real. I just tried it out and so on. Never got stuck. Um, so I mean, I'm not the booster pack kind of guy really. But for me, this is really fun. This has a really nice background. I don't think I have anyone with this uh, dark background. Uh, tunes, Hosvir Metropolis Officer. Ah, kind of weird. So this is, uh, let's see. Once again, if we can focus, we have Brobnar with Double War Song. This, oh, Arise is nice. Three Fates is nice. Ember Imp. And then Untamed with the World Tree. I'm not sure what that is. I'll check that out. The World Tree. Okay, so, well, we keep getting speed though because we've seen the card already. Witch of the Eye, Hunting Witch, Niffle Ape, Snuffle Gator, Halakor, Halakor, Double. Oh, Dew Fairy, it's nice. Uh, she gets double when she reaps, which is awesome. Uh, Big Twig, kind of funny guy. Kind of hard to play, but he's really strong, so it's good to like have him to, if you can capture and so on, you can put it on him. Here's the World Tree. It's a location artifact. Return a creature from your discard pile to the top of your deck. Yeah, that's pretty good. Haven't seen that before. Uh, full Moon, for uh, double Full Moon for the remainder of the turn. Gain one each time you play a creature. This can really combo well with Hunting Witch, so you can get a lot of Amber this way. Wow. Um, cooperative Hunting is cool. Then we have something new for me, the Tolos. He's elusive, the spider. Each time a creature is destroyed, its opponent gains one Amber. So it goes both ways. Uh, so it could be good, it could be bad, sort of, depending on how you play. Snudge, uh, Amber Imp, of course, Dust Imp is nice as well. Uh, Lash of Broken Dreams. I love this card. Nice one. It saved my ass uh, a few times already. Dominator Bubble is nice. Uh, Three Fates is nice. Mind Barb, Hand of Dis. Fear Control the Weak is awesome. I love this one. When you decide what your opponent's going to play next turn, it's just so much fun. And the Rise is nice. Um, you can sort of return each creature off a house from your discard pile. Yeah. Then the troll. Oh, I haven't seen a troll in a while. Um, he's really strong and he can heal as well. Uh, Lumir Flame Fist. Uh, if your opponent has seven amber or more, they lose two. So that's like a save. If the opponent has said check and it's back to you, you can play him. Uh, Crump is nice. Uh, Hebe the Huge. Headhunter. Fire Spitters. Oh, that's nice. Um, Bumpsy. Volder, a lot of creatures in here, <laughs> a lot of strong, good creatures, and this is nice, the war chest, then the gauntlet of command is nice, to ready and fight with a friendly creature, war song, uh, two war songs, and we get one amber each time a friendly creature fights, and you have a lot of creatures in here, so nice combos there as well, and I really like the, um, the picture there for those. So, we are... Going into one more here. And now there's been a lot of Keyforge on the channel. If you haven't, uh, you know, I can recommend to check out the playthroughs. I've done two playthroughs with Draco, and then I've done one together with Martin. Well, actually two, but I, I scrapped one of them because uh, there was so much glare. I had some issues here with the lights in here, but so if you, as long as I'm not using sleeves, I mean, there's some glare here right now as well, but it's not that bad, at least, I think. Uh, so, this is Allerage Whirlpool Gambler. 
if we can do just a show about me trying to pronounce weird names <laughs> that's gonna be a hit on youtube so here we go um so brobnar uh double bumpsy double troll wow uh this with uh screaming cave is cool and then shadows uh yeah okay this this deck doesn't look that amazing i don't know silver tooth is nice because he comes in ready shadow cells so soaks up damage dodger steals not the thief steals and uh, double nexus this is only good if your opponent has some artifacts, but most of the time they have. And here's the Asp, I like him because of the poison. Call of Phantom, uh, each time you play an artifact, steal one, could be good. Uh, Bullet Eye, destroy a flank creature, pretty good. Bad Penny, Ghostly Hand, the Terror. Hmm. Oh, oh, look at that. That's my first, this is my first Maverick. <laughs> my first maverick whoa finally that little symbol <laughs> means it's a maverick i was like here's the terror and here's the terror but this is a shadows terror and this is the normal one where he's supposed to be in in the disc deck wow that's so cool my first maverick and this is my i think this is my deck like 25 or something and i open i'm opening <laughs> finally found one i think it's like really really rare and I'm, I'm not, I mean, if I want to get the Maverick card, I don't want to get the Terror. I don't even like this one, right? Because if your opponent has no Amber, you gain two. It's, yeah, I don't know. But he's pretty good. I mean, he's a five creature. So that's really funny. That is Shadows the Terror. First time I see that. So that was a shock for me. Okay. <laughs> and then we go into the normal Terror. Oh, Succubus. She's good. Uh, Snudge. Drumble. What's Drumble? Oh, it's, oh, this is crazy one. If your opponent has seven amber or more, capture all of it. <laughs> then he's only a two though, so it's pretty easy to take it back. But he's elusive, which, yeah, wow. That's a cool one. Sure it. Uh, here's the screaming cave. This is cool. Shuffle your hand and discard pile into your deck. Uh, this is pretty cool, actually. So as long as you have this out and you play, you choose to play this, you can just keep getting your cards back really easily. Life Ward is nice. Um, oh, Lash of Broken Dreams once again. And the Dominator Bubble. So I already like this deck. Three Fates. Hand of This. Arise is really nice. Um, okay, let's see what the Brobnars has. Oh, this is cool. I haven't seen this one before. It's a rare upgrade. Uh, Blood of Titans. This creature gets plus five power. That's a lot. Then we have Double Troll. I mean, that's really strong, right? Then we have... Smash to stun a creature. Crump. Um, bump, double bump, see. Pretty good. Loses an amber. Pile of skulls is cool. Each time an enemy creature is destroyed during your turn, a friendly creature captures one. And then you can put that on the trolls, which are really strong, right? So, yeah, cool stuff. Tremor. Uh, Relentless Assault. That's cool. You can ready a fight with up to three different friendly creatures one at a time. So together with these creatures here. So, wow. And punch, deal three to a creature. And couch and destroy each undamaged creature, gain three. Yeah, this is a board wipe. So this deck is really interesting as well. This one I do want to play <laughs> very soon. Wow, I'm really excited for this one. Okay, so let's get into the next... I'm happy with the results so far. I mean, we're, we're not even halfway and I already seen some really cool stuff here. And uh, I mean, not that it was the best card, but just getting a Maverick is fun anyway. So I have one at least. I'm not going to keep all my decks. I'm going to try to like have 35 decks. So I have all the house combinations. So we have Time Stopper, Aurum, Xenum. Okay. So this, Brobna Shadows. And this is, let's see if we can get that focus again, sort of. We have Brobnar, Double Arise, that's cool, Double Dominator Bubble. And Shadows has a routine job and Silver, okay. So how would that work? Let's see. Silver Tooth, yeah, okay, Double, Shadow Self, Naughty the Thief, Call of Phantom, Seeker Needle is a cool artifact, can really help you out. Customs Office, uh, your opponent must pay you one Amber in order to play an artifact. That's pretty fun, actually. 
uh, routine job is steal one, then steal one for each copy of routine job in your discard pile. Okay. So if I play one of these first, then it will be in the discard pile, and then I can play the other one, and I will steal extra. So Relentless Whispers, Pawn Sacrifice, Sacrifice a Friendly Creature. If you do, deal three, da three damage each to two creatures. That's good. Miasma is cool. Your opponent skips the Forge Key step next turn. I lost twice to someone playing this against me when I was supposed to win, sort of. And they played this, and yeah. Um, where are we? Yeah, okay. Then Schuler, uh, Pit Demon, Lash of Broken Dreams, love it, and Double Dominator Bubble. So having two of these out, you can use tw two creatures that is not from this, under this turn. Pandemonium, each undamaged creature captures one from its opponent, that's nice as well. Mind Barb, Hysteria, Tenderous of Pain, yeah that's cool, Control the Weak is nice. Arise, double arise. Pretty good this deck there. And then War Drummer, Smash, Lomir Flame Fist, Fire Spitter, Valder, War Chest. Mighty Javelin is nice. It's a one time use, you sacrifice it, but you do four damage to a creature. That can be really helpful. War Song, Punch, Burn the Stockpile. Yeah, that's pretty cool as well. It's one to just save you. Uh, brothers in battle, choose a house for the remainder of the turn. Each friendly creature of that house may fight. Wow, that's cool as well. So that's another one of these. Use another house on your turn. So. And the anger is nice as well. So, halfway through. And uh, while you're waiting for me to open the next one, why don't you like the video as well? So that YouTube's algorithm will be happy and spread the video all over the world or something. I'm not exactly sure how, on how that works, but I know that all the kids uh, beg for likes. So why shouldn't I do it as well? Even though I'm, I'm a bit old to be a YouTuber, right? I guess. <laughs> Come on. Here we go. So. So let's see. This is the Oh, nice artwork once again. Kilgad, the Predator of Collapse. That was a pretty cool name. So this is... Let's see, so it focuses. And we have this. Um, nothing really... Well, Pit Lord. Have to check him out. Logos. Um, and Sanctum. Oh, here's the Horseman's. This is my first Horseman deck, actually. So that's uh, cool as well. I got a Maverick and then Horseman. So here we have the Horseman of Death, Horseman of Famine, Horseman of Pestilence, and Horseman of War. Ah, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's check it out. And I know I don't know how good the Horsemen are. I just know that uh, a lot of people talk about them a lot. So it's fun to have one. So here we go. Armageddon Cloak. This creature gains Hazardous 2 and destroy it. Fully heal this creature and destroy Armageddon Cloak instead. Wow, that is awesome. So if you put this on someone... Uh, and then if they get destroyed, you, des you destroy the cloak instead. Wow, that is awesome. Gatekeeper is cool. Uh, really strong one. Horsemen of War. Okay, so Horsemen of War. I haven't even checked these guys out, so it's fun to see how they work. Uh, for the remainder of turn, each friendly creature can be used as if they were in the active house. That can only fight, okay? So playing this... You can use all your creatures to fight. Okay. Horseman of Pestilence. Uh, he has uh, play, fight, reap, deal one damage to each non horseman creature. Okay. So that's nice. You can deal a lot of damage. Horseman of Famine. Destroy the least powerful creature. But that could actually be really good. Like if someone has sub two with uh, some weird, you know, really good ability on it, even though he's weak, it's, uh, he, yeah, this could be nice to, to destroy him. And Horseman of Death. Return each horseman creature from your discard pile to your hand. Oh, so he can pick them all up again. So you can play them first, they die, and then horseman of death comes in and just picks everyone up again. Wow, cool. And he returns them to your hand, so you can just play them all again, I guess. Oh, that's nice. Commander Remiel is nice. Um, potion of invulnerability. Sacrifice potion for remainder of turn. Each friendly creature cannot be damaged. I'm just thinking also that you could put like one of these horsemen. You could put the cloak on them. 
that's not bad either. Terms of Red Dress is nice. Uh, Oath of Poverty, I haven't seen this one before. Destroy each of your artifacts, gain two Ember for each artifact destroyed this way. Oh, so you could uh, destroy a bunch of uh, artifacts and get an Ember, oh nice. Blinding Light is nice, the stunned creatures of a certain house, double. And then we have the Valen Analyst, Game Meet Archivist, uh, Doc Bookton, let's see, draw a card, the Bat Drone, the Twin Bolt, Scrambler Storm. Oh, this is nice, I haven't seen this before. Your opponent cannot play action cards on the next turn, that's cool. Uh, remote Access, so use an uh, opponent's artifact. The Positron Bolt. Uh, oh, Library Access, wow, this deck is awesome. I love this card, uh, Library Access. This is my favorite card, I think, so far in this game. Because when you play it for the rest of the turn, as soon, when you play other cards, you get to draw a card. So you can basically, it's like Dominion, basically. You can just sit there and just play a bunch of cards if you're lucky enough to draw, keep drawing Logos cards. Wow, love that stuff. Lab work, let's see, Archive. Knowledge is power, this is a rare one. Uh, archive a card, or for each archive card you have, gain a... Amber, so if you keep if you can archive some cards earlier on, then you can use him to get amber. Each player loses half their amber and toxin tentacus succubus solar pit lord is cool. He has taunt and he's so strong. And when he's in play, you must choose this as your active house. I never, I didn't have him before, i just seen him on internet. That's really cool, you get two amber for him. And so cool that you have to choose this as your active house. So, and he's so strong, so he's gonna be out for a while. It could really be tricky, I guess, to play him well. You have to play him at the, at the right time, right? Um, Pit Demon, the Charret, Tenders of Pain, Gateway to this. Fear and control the weak. Well, this deck is, is interesting, and um, yeah, it's really, pretty cool to get that uh, horseman, horseman uh, stuff going on. I can always put that in the title of this video, and then uh, I will get more views, I guess, because people seem to be crazy about that. Those horseman cards, they looked cool, I guess. Uh, but I don't know. I'm not, I wasn't that impressed with them, uh, but I haven't played with them, so I guess yeah, you can find some really nice synergies, and that's that's of course the the thing that people are looking for in this game. So, then we go into next one. It has a normal name, sort of. It's called Star of Garsum, okay? Um, and we have Brobnar, Dis, and Logos. And uh, three Angers, that's pretty cool. Uh, we have two Amber Imps down there, and then we have Crazy Killing Machine. I don't know what this, what, which one that is. Let's check that out. So, let's see, we have, uh, I'm not gonna, well, Double Mother, that's a good thing. Uh, quick, so it's nice. Um, double Dr. Escotera, that's not good, because this is like gain one for each forge key your opponent has. So let's say your opponent has two forge keys, you get two, mm, not that good. It's a four though. Library of Bubble, get draw a card. Here's a crazy killing machine, I've never seen this before. So this is an artifact. Discard the top card of each player's deck. For each of those cards, destroy a creature or artifact of that card's house, if able. If two cards are not destroyed as a result of this, destroy Crazy Killing Machine. <laughs> that is really cool. It says, do not touch ever. Wow, that was a cool card. Um, really funny effect. Oh, I can't wait to play that. Wild Wormhole is fun. Library access once again. Love it, love it, love it. And yeah, this looks good. Um, and here's something new for me as well, I think. No, no, this is the one that you get to Hazardous 2 and 2 power, yeah. This is new for me though. True Baru, really strong creature, demon. You must lose 3 Amber in order to play him. And he has Taunt. When he's destroyed, you gain 5 Amber. Wow. It's so funny to just discover these cards. That is such a cool card. I mean, he could be really, really useful. And like, your opponent doesn't really want to destroy him because then you will get five amber, right? And he has taunts. So you can put him in the middle, just protect two other cards, and your opponent is not going to want to destroy him. <laughs> wow, that's so cool. Tentacus. 
Pit Demon, Guardian Demon. M two Embrims, love those. Makes it so that your opponent cannot play them more, more than two cards each turn. Uh, three Fates, Hand of This, Gateway to This, Control the Weak, Arise. It's a nice card as well. Wow, this might be a favorite deck as well. So Phoenix Heart, this creature gains destroyed. Return this creature to its owner hand and deal three damage to each creature in play. Wow, that's a strong one. Really strong one. That's a rare as well. It's another rare. So many rares in these decks. Tireless Crocag. Cannot reap. That's a new one. Never seen that before. That's, uh, we have a, a, a creature that cannot reap. You may use Tireless Crocag as if it belonged to the active house. Okay, so he can always be used. And if your opponent has no creatures in play, he gets destroyed. <laughs> that's weird. So in order for him to, to keep use him, then your opponent has to have creatures in play. Oh, interesting. Headhunter, Gauntlet of Command. Nice artifact. Tremor, Punch, Loot the Bodies is nice. Lava Ball, this is new for me as well. Deal four, cre four to a creature with two damage splash. I think this is the first time I've seen splash as a word on one of these cards. I've seen it in the rules. But, so if you hit... I think splash just means that it hits the ones on the side, right? If there is anyone in the um, in the chat that knows this, I think that's how it works. It hits the 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 neighbors, uh, so they take two damage, and the main guy that you focus on he gets four damage. That's how, I think that's how it works. Uh, here's another one: blood money. Place two amber from the common supply. Uh, oh, thank you, uh, I didn't. There's a place two amber from the common supply on an enemy creature. Oh, it's like you give them something to capture and then you can take it back. Now, I haven't seen this one before. It's not that rare though. But. And two angers, which is nice. That's ready a fight with a friendly creature. This deck, I am really excited to play this one as well. The Star of Garsoom. I, I think I forgot to say the name, but it's, it's the Star of Garsoom. Kind of cool name. And I, wow, so many cool stuff going on here. I'm really happy with this batch. I thought I bought a uh, display of 12, so I thought it would, they would come in plastic, but they just split it up, uh, which doesn't really matter, I guess. I know that with some games like Star Wars Destiny, I heard that you want to get full displays. You don't want to buy separate decks because like every display is determined to have a certain amount of good cards or rare cards. I don't think that's the case here though, so um, I don't think it matters that much. But let's see if I can get this. This was a bit tricky. Come on, you. So this is the M Miss Hate Box Darwin. <laughs> That's a funny name as well. Miss Hate Box. Hey, Miss Hate Box, how are you doing? Um, and it has this uh, Robner and Logos. So yeah, good stuff. So we have. Let's see. I don't see much more more sticks, but I don't care really because I don't really like the more so far. Uh, Brobnar has double smith, uh, so life ward, mm, and the logos has strange gizmo. What's strange gizmo? I don't really remember that. Rocket boots that's new for me as well. Uh, this game if creature, creature gains fight reap if this is the first time the creature was used this turn. Read it. Wow. So it, uh, one creature can do double thing if it fight reaps. Huh. Titan Mechanic, Mother, oh, Double Mother, seems to be fairly common, but I really like those. Uh, Dextry, Batrone, here's the strange gizmo, what's this? It's an artifact, after you forge a key, destroy each creature and artifact. Oh, so it's like a board wipe that you can, you can play the artifact as a board wipe basically and like if you know that your opponent, uh, well, like you know that you are going to forge a key next turn. Uh, interesting stuff. <laughs> interesting stuff. Uh, wild wormhole, face shift, double. Uh, lab work, dimension door. And we have the ember imps. I love those shorts, double shorts. And they're pretty good because they can capture three. That's a lot. Uh, life ward or double life ward. Hmm. And stop your opponent from playing creatures. That's fun. 
Annihilation Ritual. When a creature would enter a discard pile from play, it is purged instead. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Never seen this before. This is amazing. Um, so, oh yeah, yeah, the gizmo destroys itself, of course. This is really cool. So, when a creature would enter a discard pile from play, it's purged instead. So basically you can... If, you put, if I put this out and my opponent plays good cards, maybe he's playing like Untamed and he has ways to get his card back from the discard and all that. Or maybe he's close to reshuffling his deck. Well, if I play this one, then any, anything he plays, action cards and such, or, or if I kill his creatures, they will be purged. And it's singles for me, of course. Wow, this is a cool card. Really cool card. Um, Red Hot Armor, new for me as well. Um, it's an action. Each enemy creature with armor loses all of its armor until the end of the turn and is dealt one damage for each point of the armor it lost. Oh, so if someone has a lot of armor, they will take damage. A lot of damage. This is good against Sanctum, I guess, because they have these knights and stuff. Pandemonium was cool. Each undamaged creature captures one. Key Hammer. This is new for me as well. If your opponent forced a key on the previous turn, unfort... No, no, it's the one. Yeah, yeah, it's the one that unfortunates. Yeah, it's so cool. Gateway to this, control the weak, blood of titans, that's a cool one, we talked about this earlier, war drummer, crump, crump, ganger chieftain, fire spitter, war chest, auto cannon is cool, uh, this just, uh, just, if you play it, it just hangs around, and as soon as you play something, it, it starts with one damage, so it's really cool, the smith, double smith, gain two if you control more, yeah, you want to have a lot of creatures then, follow the leader is cool, each friendly creature may fight, and couch end. Uh, that's a board wipe, yeah. So, this is an interesting deck as well. I want to play so much Keyforge because I have so much stuff I want to try out now. Wow. Interesting stuff. And we have Logos Morse. Oh, here's some Morse. I mean, Morse might be good. It's just that uh, I just played it like two times and I, I looked a bit at the course and so on. I didn't really feel like I enjoy that play style. The, the thing I thought was cool with Mars was that they can abduct the other player's cards into their uh, archive. That's a really cool thing, thematically and so on. So, logos, um, sloppy lab work, double, then we have Mars with some doubles as well, and Shadows has three bad pennies. That's, that's bad, I think. I don't know, maybe you can combo it somehow, but it doesn't sound that good. Because she's somewhat worthless. Um, Silent Dagger. Urchin. I like these guys. There's only one here though. Old Bruno. Capture 3. Nexus. Moon Cursor is nice because it's poison. And Skirmish. So this can be really nasty. If you don't have armor, this can kill you instantly. And then it steals one as well. Mac the Knife. Uh, oh, he's, I haven't seen him before. You can be used, It's elusive. He can be used as if he belonged to the active house. Um, oh yeah, I don't, I agree on Mars. And then he has an action, deal one to a creature. If this damage destroyed a creature, gain an amber. So this guy is pretty cool. Um, yeah. And three bad pennies. And poison wave, deal two to each creature. Pawn sacrifice. Oh, you can use this and sacrifice a bad penny, I guess. Um, nerve blast. Sorg. He enters play stun, stun the creature, sword fights, okay, and each of its creatures neighbor. Yeah, he can stun a lot of people then. Dominator also enters play stun with taunt, uh, mega moat, mind wrapper. Uh, has, this is a weird card. Choose an enemy cap creature, it captures one ember from its own side. Um, I guess if you want to like protect it from being stolen, I guess it's good to have, I don't know. Jon Smith is uh, Phosphorus Stars. Stun each non Mars creature, gain two chains, two of those. Uh, for each friendly ready Mars creature, deal two to a creature. Mothership support. EMP Blast. Uh, Deep Probe. Choose a house, reveal your opponent's hand, discard each creature of that house, reveal this way. That's pretty cool. If I think that you have uh, like a hand of a lot of Sanctum cards, I can say Sanctum and play this, and you have to discard your cards. Ammonia Clouds. This is nice. Deal 3 to each creature and this doubles it even so you can <laughs> do a lot of damage. 
Okay, experimental therapy, stun and exhaust. Yeah, it belongs to all the houses. Research Smoko as archiver. Uh, what is this? A Martianologist. Heal three damage from a marsh creature or stun a marsh creature. So he can sort of work well together with the Martians. Uh, Mother, Dr. Escotera, Spectral Tunneler. Choose a creature for the remainder of the turn. That creature is considered flank. Yeah, it's the, that one. Ah, okay. Slappy lab work was double, right? Yeah, archive a card and discard a card. Scram Scrambler Storm. Your opponent cannot play action cards on the next turn. A phase shift and interdimensional graft. Uh, yeah. And Fogify. Okay, well, might play this, but didn't get me that excited that some of the other decks did there. And we'll just keep going. Two more to go, but I already found the Maverick, which I'm happy about, and I found the Horsemans, which I'm happy about as well. Not that I really was that impressed about them, but maybe I can trade that deck for like some other cool deck because a lot of people seem to want that Horseman deck. Um, and it was like a double Horseman deck that went for like two thousand dollars on eBay. Uh, if I had gotten that, I would have just sold it right away. There's no reason to keep that kind of deck. I'm just playing this game, game for fun anyway, right? So, uh, Senior C, Diamond Ring the Third. That, that's such a weird name. Okay, here we go. So, uh, that is a Brobnar Logos and Shadows. And, um, I don't know. It was that impressive. We'll see. Dusk Runner. You gain a Reap. Steel One. Could be good, but. Urchins. Two Urchins now. Umbra. Steel. Old Bruno Captures. Nexus. Magda the Rat. Uh, steel Two. Leave Play and your opponent Steel Two. So you don't want to want her to leave Play. Uh, Bad Penny. One last job. Perch each friendly Shadows creature. Steal one for each creature person. Okay, so this is like a last yeah in, in the last round or something. You just purge them to get to, to get to steal, I guess. Uh, Miasma is awesome. Ghostly hand. Bait and switch is nice. Quick so. Oh now we're into it, yeah. Um quick so gain meet archivist double. You can archive a lot. Capture. Uh, destroy a damaged creature, wild wormhole spawn, twin bolt. Um, nothing really exciting here, I guess, but Screech Bomb, I can sacrifice to make the opponent lose two. That's like a save, I guess, uh, if your opponent is about to craft a key. Pile of Skulls, War Song, Double War Song, Tremor, Sound the Horns. Discard a card from the top of your deck until you either discard a Bromna creature or run out of cards. If you discard a Bromna creature this way, put it into your hand. That's pretty cool. Couch and burn the stockpile and anger. Yeah. And um, one last to go. So let's do it. And as I said, I mean, picking these 12 up, I'm already happy about that result. Those that I don't really fancy, I'm just going to try to trade away and so on. But um, I might trade away the Horseman deck as well. We'll see if uh, how, how big of an interest there is for it. I'll put it out on some site, I guess. Because if someone wants to trade, like I saw some guy wanted to trade like 10 decks for, for a Horseman deck. I'm happy to get 10 decks instead. <laughs> so I can... Um, Keep going for my goal of having uh, 35 and having all the house combinations. So this is Etzler Gate Scribe, okay? So he has Brobnar, uh, Dis and Shadows. A lot of Dis today, which is fine by me. I like them. Um, so loot the bodies. Yo Mama Mastery. I don't know what that is. Um, and here's some rares I don't recognize either. Huh, cool. Let's check this out. So, uh, Urchin, Umbra, oh, double Shadow Self. Um, there's two with Poison, that's pretty powerful. 
Evasion Sigil. Before a creature fights, discard the top card of its controller's deck. If the discarded card is off the active house, exhaust that creature with no effect. Wow, that is cool. That's like a protection. Yeah. Uh, too much to protect. Steal all but six of your opponent's amber. Uh, pawn sacrifice, nerve blast. Well, snudge, shuffles. At the end of your turn, your opponent loses one amber. Wow. <laughs> if you can get. If you can keep this guy out for a while, that could really be nasty. Uh, you really want to protect him though, so... I don't know if we have like some taunt guy or something in here. Uh, the Pit Demon, Overlord Gricking. After an enemy creature is destroyed fighting him, put that creature into play under your control. Oh, so he takes them... He takes over creatures when he fights with them. That's really cool. Wow, I don't think I've seen this guy before. He's a rare. That's really awesome. Uh, Gabo's long arms, also rare. Deals damage to the creature. Yeah, this I talked about this earlier. You can like choose who he deals damage to when he fights. So cool. Wow, I love this deck already. These this of course at least. And Lash of Broken Dream is one of my favorites. There we go. And Dominator Bubble and Pandemonium. And Hand of Disc, Control the Weak. Oh, we have three Control the Weak. One of my favorite cards as well. Not that it might be that good, but it's really fun. <laughs> it's really fun that I get to decide what house you choose, what you have to play next turn. And the thing is, like, if I see that you play a lot of Brobnar cards, right? Uh, maybe like a lot of action cards and so on. Then I just say, yeah, you have to play Brobnar next turn again. And then you have to play Brobnar again. And then you could be sitting there not being able to play that much. Then this is new for me, Yo Mama Mastery. Uh, this creature gains Taunt. Oh, it's an upgrade. And when you play it, you heal the creature. That could be nice, yeah. More drummer, Pingle who annoys. This is a weird name. But he deals one damage to each enemy creature after it enters play. So him together with that cannon, if you would be able to get that, that would be cool. Then you would kill all the tubes when they enter play. Um, and Smith. Yeah. Punch, loot the bodies. Oh, double loot the bodies. That could be a nice combo as well. You get an amber for each enemy creature that is destroyed. If you have two, then, well, yeah, and anger. So, yeah, nice, uh, nice result, I would say. I'm really, uh, I think this is really fun. I hope that you guys enjoy it as well, this uh, whole uh, unboxing thing. Uh, if you do, I mean, I, I'm going to keep doing these. Uh, I'll probably pick up one more, at least one more uh, display here uh, in next month or so because uh, I'll just keep going, I guess, until I find that, uh, find all those combos that I want. So that was the unboxing uh, or opening of Keyforge deck. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to like the video. Remember to check out the playthroughs that I did for uh, Keyforge. There's three of them on the channel already. There's more to come as well. And there's a lot of other stuff on the channel as well. I hope that you enjoy that as well. Thank you so much for watching and have a great evening or morning or whenever you're watching this. Take care. Bye bye.